Good morning from Westover, Nova Scotia. I'm here in Westover, which is a uh, fishing port, and uh, I'm basically heading off to Peggy's Cove. I figured I'd get up early this morning, catch the sunrise of Peggy's Cove, but as you can see, that's not gonna work out. Um, as you can see, there's a very small band of opening for the sunrise, so it's not gonna be a, a beautiful sunrise like I was hoping. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. I lost this one. Um, I knew it was a risk, I knew it was a bit risky, and I, I kind of went for it. Um, but anyway, that's alright. So I'm heading down to Westover, and, uh, or I'm heading down to Peggy's Cove, and along the way is uh, Dover and Westover. And it's a very good, nice fishing community here in uh, Nova Scotia. And uh, basically what it is, it's a ton of shacks. Now here I'm in a more limited location in the Westover area, which is a uh, a little bit off the highway but basically what we're looking at here is a, a fishing a f small fishing wharf um, I'm on a bit of a dock here a very nice dock actually and uh, yeah so basically what I'm shooting here right now is I'm shooting the fisherman's art which is on the wall in the background um, you can see the mesh uh, the Canadian flag there I believe it's all ripped up um, and basically the water now there's a little bit of ice in the water um, which definitely helps. We got some ice floating around down there. Mind you, there's also some garbage floating around down there. Um, so it's, uh, it's it can be a very interesting shot if you get it right. So I figured, you know what, I'd stop here and uh, just enjoy uh, basically Westover for a few minutes, snap some pictures, and yeah. Good amount of waves here, a lot of drama. There's a beautiful uh, scenic view over here of, uh, of Peggy's Cove itself. Um, so it's looking uh, it's looking pretty nice. Um, we got some snow down and uh, all right, the waves are starting. But basically we have some snow down over here. We have Peggy's Cove in the background. The church really adds to the dramatic effect of it. And uh, you know what, overall it's, uh, it's a, it looks like a great morning to be out here shooting. Now all we need is some more waves just like this that's happening here. We'll throw them over here and uh, I'll get uh, a higher exposure to basically capture the waves as well as the buildings in the background. So it's, uh, it's very important that we do not get too close to the waves this morning. If not, I could be in there and I'll be gone forever. This could be the last video. But the point is to stay, stay safe when you're out here and stay warm. It's always frigid out here. and. Uh, it's always very fun and exciting. There's a lot of drama here with the waves today. Some days it can be out here, it's calm as anything. But today there's a lot of drama, a lot of waves. So uh, we're gonna capture that. We're gonna put that to good use. So let's get to. So isn't that always the way you get ready for your shot? All the waves just die down. Um, so you know what? Let's uh, go set up at a good spot and uh, we'll wait. All right guys, so here's the setup that I'm doing right now. I have my camera down there. I have my trigger in my hand so I can trigger my camera at any time. As the waves come in, crashing in. Um, I got the lighthouse here. I got my other camera in my hand and I wanna basically go for a little walk around here to see what, uh, what else I can find while this is going on. And then I know um, I know I can trigger it from anywhere, so uh, I just got to keep an eye on that section so I can see what's happening over there. Uh, I'm going to put my polarizing filter on before I uh, do anything else, and uh, yeah, then we'll uh, we'll get some re a really good shot here. All we need now is to wait for a nice big wave, and uh, we're good to go. There's lots of waves happening here, like just that one there, um, or just that one over there. Um, there's lots of waves happening here this morning, but of course I need it in the right spot. And uh, right now it's just literally a waiting game. There we go. That was a nice one. That was a really nice one. 
you guys are going to see that one. That's probably going to be the best one right there. Um, that was a nice wave. And of course, thanks to my triggers, I can actually, oh, there's another one. I can trigger it from anywhere. So I'm getting exactly what I want right now. I'm happy. It's perfect. Um, in this case, I'm using a, uh, a faster shutter speed um, to basically capture the waves, um, which is super important here. It's what I'm going for. So uh, you need to bump up your ISO uh, a little bit. But uh, you know what, it's, it's turning out great. are still crashing hard here. I have a bit of an added dimension now. There's been a couple fishermen, fishing boats go out, so I basically have the fishing boats to work with as well, which is an amazing thing, especially with these waves happening here. Trick is fast shutter speed if you want to capture those waves. The boat is not moving too fast, not a big worry, but the focusing part is. You want to make sure it is in focus. You want to make sure that uh, it's basically set up. So I'm going to continue on here around uh, Peggy's Cove and uh, see what else Mother Nature provides. On, uh, on this side over here, there's always a ton of waves over there. It's always very dramatic. I might pop over there shortly. I got the shot I want down here with the, uh, the camera on my, uh, on my uh, remote triggered. And uh, I'm pretty happy with what's happening down there. So I might uh, reposition here shortly and uh, basically get go for something else. So uh, let's uh, let's see what we can come up with and uh, get some good shots. The waves here are just so dramatic. It's so exciting. I absolutely love it, guys. It's uh, it's really exciting to be here. It's it, I chose a great day yesterday. There's a gentleman on Periscope that was here, CBC camera guy, and uh, he said the waves were big then. Uh, I'm not sure if they're bigger today or yesterday, but. Either way, the waves are very exciting and I absolutely love it. So uh, let's uh, see what else we can come up with here and uh, hopefully we'll get some more boats coming out of the harbor and uh, we'll be set. All right, guys. I've uh, come down from the lighthouse now. I'm down by the uh, in the fishing village. It's uh, it's quite nice here. It's uh, quite spectacular. It's just absolutely beautiful. There's uh, so much to see here. It's a great representative of uh, Atlantic Canada. The uh, the fishing wharfs, the community. It's uh, absolutely stunning. So I'll tell you, this is probably one of my favorite views from along here. Uh, pretty much right behind me right now. You have the uh, the lobster shanties or the lobster shacks with the lobster traps. It's uh, it's quite quite nice. It's a beautiful spot to be, and it's you know it's a absolutely stunning view. So the, as you can see, the tide's a bit high um, down here, so it must be high tide. And we're gonna try and snap some uh, pictures of the uh, of the snow on the lobster traps there. Uh, you can just see it peering out and. Uh, It'll make for a, a really good scene. Um, it'll, the snow will help set the mood. It'll be uh, really nice.
it's such a quaint fishing community down here and it's uh, absolutely gorgeous so it's uh, it's always a good time to shoot down here um, the big trick down here is basically I'm shooting uh, using higher aperture values um, so that's my depth of field is uh, is wider and longer so it uh, you got more in focus there's just so much down here it's absolutely stunning and I know I've said that a bunch of times but uh, I think you get the, the hint it's stunning so uh, I think I'm gonna pack her in for today and uh, head on out to the next location here shortly and uh, yeah we'll uh, definitely hit hit up another good spot <laughs>